Hey guys, just working on my Dreamcast here. I bought a boxed Dreamcast. Well, the box is really beat up out at the flea market, and it came with three controllers, the 35 foot phone cable, and um, all for 10 bucks. So, that's a good deal. But, there was a problem. It was broken. Um, the common controller port problem happened to me and luckily you know I have people around to help me and I tried to loop Morse fix um, but what happened was I broke off broke off that resistor because I really suck with these types of things so there's that resistor I'm pretty sure that's garbage but I do have my Dreamcast here, and this is from my old Dreamcast, this old controller port. Uh, I just screwed it in, plugged in the right cables, the uh, power cable there, and that ribbon cable, and it works now. Uh, my old Dreamcast down here, that has fried video from me plugging it into the VCR uh, out jack. Which, that's what I believe it did. I think it fried the video. Um, and it's got a broken GD-ROM, because I replaced an old GD-ROM. And, yeah, so that's my part streamcast. And now it has... I'm going to put this back in there, just for the battery, and I don't know. Maybe in a later date, when I learn how to solder, I'll fix it. But uh, I figured I'd fire up some Crazy Taxi. I have a uh, twisty tie tied back so that it will play. Yeah. Okay, Crazy Taxi time. Jeez. See, up and down work. Um, I'm going to be awful with this, trying to play with one hand, but I just wanted to show you guys that the buttons do work, and, um, and at least I've tried out player one, so, oh, I was holding down the direction and I turned it on, wasn't I? Ah. Check that out. See, you can hear that familiar beep. I'm usually way better at this game. But, anyway, that's that. Got the parts off the old Dreamcast. Put them in the new one. It works. Take care.